In today's video, I'm going to detect your browser and what device are you using using JavaScript. Yeah, that's right. We are going to use browser and the device detection using the library called platform.js as well. So before going on direct to tutorial as well, I would really like to take a moment and explain why would you ever need to detect your user's uh, browser and the mobile type as well. The problem is really like, let's say if you have a crazy startup idea itself and it really goes and explodes into the millions of customers as well. Now what you really happen is you need to kind of collect the user data so that you can optimize your website according to whole of other lot of ranges as well. So and for that purpose you need to know what devices the users are actually using up right there so that you can fetch the data from individual users and can really analyze the data and at, the, at your backend as well and can really optimize your website or apps accordingly. So if you are really like me and if you are really something really into the device detection as well, you might have really been familiar using the property called navigator.useragent as well. But the proper problem is that it's not really correct and appropriate as well. It really gives out a bunch of random uh, string and the problem is for the browser, it's really easy for any browser of them to, if they kind of update their browser itself, they would really just change the string and it will really create a whole lot of mess as well. So that's why there are many libraries as well, which really helps you to just kind of uh, deal with this problem as well. But one of them prominent library that I really found out and works pretty much flawlessly is uh, platform JS as well. So as you can see in front of your screen as well, uh, it really works pretty decently. I have tried it on Chrome, I've tried it on Microsoft Edge, I've tried it on Samsung browser, uh, like Android. It detects like uh, I have, uh, Safari, iPhone, and then Vivo. It works pretty flawlessly upright there as you can see. So it detects the browser, it detects which is the version, it detects the, what is the manufacturer, and it detects what is the OS operating system as well, whether it's Windows, whether it's I, whether it's iOS or it's whether it's Android as well. So being said that, let's get into the computer screen. So as you can see right now, we are in the computer screen. So this is my, the GitHub repo of the, uh, this library itself. Now you may have noticed that uh, my GitHub really looks different because because I'm really using this couple of extensions that you can see up right here. Uh, rest uh, we this library is pretty much easy to use and as you have seen the demo as well we are just going to display what kind of our browser it what version it is and the layout os and description itself now previously you may have noticed that i have really mentioned out the product as well and the manufacturer as well and it really mentioned the blank as well now i really don't know what is going on with this library but uh what the previous example that I've really demonstrated that in the description itself, it really highlights the model number of your uh, mobile and by naturally we can really identify which manufacturer it is. So being said that we actually need a CDN. We are actually going to use the CDN by the way. So you can really clone this library and really start using it. But for this purpose, uh, it's not much more intensive. So we are going to use uh, CDN from CDN.js. Uh, by the way, I really highly suggest if you are using this production, use this NPM install version as well. So uh, let's say if you want to use this in React for sending the name and storing this name, version, layout, OS and description in a state, that will be pretty handy for you. But our project is light and it's not needed up right here. So what we are going to do is we will type out here platform okay we'll just click up right this hmm. and then what we are going to do is we will use this minify latest one copy script tag now i've already opened a vs code up right here browser detection so what i'll need to do is just create an index.html and another file called style dot css okay and then i'll use exclamation tab from emit and it will generate the whole boilerplate let me just rename this okay. 
So for extra purpose, we will just set up basic meta theme itself. And we'll just end it by back, backslash, sorry, forward slash. And then we will finally go up right here, copy our script tag. And I must just close this up first. So let me just control Z, sorry, uh, control V, or Z. Yeah, this looks much better. So now what we are going to do is we'll just implement a section tag. Okay, and then what we need is a class of browser. Okay, and then I'll, what we'll do is another one is class of version. Okay, and then class of OS and then a class of layout. So let me just take it above. Uh, yeah, this looks pretty. And then a class of description. Okay. And now what we are going to specify is span of ID is equal to browser. Okay. And uh, let's say we'll type it here as B R O W S E R. Okay. And then what we'll define it as version. And then span uh, ID of version okay okay so finally what we will really need is another script tag uh, let me just open this first in browser open open with live server okay as you can see it's right up here don't worry, we will style this up later words, but for now, our aim is to make it work. So let's go around up right here. So now what we will really do is to just come up right here, paste a script tag, and then what we need is document dot get element by ID in bracket. What we need is browser browser dot text content we are not using inner ht element because uh, it kind of risk into the cross site scripting and this is much safer way in your production as well so what we need is to, if we come up right here if we just take up so as you can see up right here if we want to denote any browser this is the name that we have to choose the platform dot name so i'll copy this come up right here and paste it exactly just in the same manner so I'll come up back and as you can see it is denoting the chrome up right here. Let's do with other one as well. So I'll copy this. You know, and I'll paste it four times. Okay, and then what we need is <coughs> a version. So let's say like a uh, version. So we'll name it as also a version here. So we need it as a layout. And let's say we also will name it as a layout here. And then what we need is as an OS. We also will take it as an OS here. We also need it as a description, DES, CR, I P T I O N description and then what we need is as take it up description exactly same manner okay now let's check it up right here so as you can see everything works pretty flawlessly now the only thing is that we need to style this up so come up back over here over here and type out link CSS Okay, uh, yeah, so what we need is right now. Five rem 
so that the div looks much more bigger so here you go we have made it up our grid device detection as well so you can also use this in your next react project as well sending the users device detail and analyzing the data in your backend as well so the bonus content that i really talked about what you can really do is there is additional thing that you can really collect from the user's data as well so if you just go up right here and inspect the element that i want to show you right here if you go to the console and type out window dot screen and if you really enter up right here you can get the information of what is the available screen height what is the available width and height and what is the orientation of the device like what is the rotation angle currently right now this one is pretty much applicable to the mobile browser as well so you can really use you know you can do crazy stuff like possibilities is as endless as your imagination that you can really serve your users much more better as well so i hope that you have really liked this video if you have any doubt question queries or any some sort of suggestion just leave down into the comment box below and i'll be happy to get back to you till then stay connected stay subscribed to this channel and i see you next time